Hello and welcome to a review of Bezier by Philip Bag. Bezier is a so-called twin stick shoot em up game where you try to destroy as many enemies as you can with your smaller rocket. This is a very twitch based game in which you can shoot in different directions than you are moving. The game has several game modes which we will look at. The first one, Campaign, is a series of missions and starts with a brief but useful tutorial in which you learn about basic elements of the game. A very useful feature is the auto-aim, which automatically targets nearest enemies. Destroyed enemies drop blue and green gems. Green gems give you more ouch, which are hit points, and blue gems give you more oomph, which stands for damage. In the middle of the screen you can see radar with red dots on it, representing enemies. Frankly, I'd prefer the radar in the corner of the screen, but you will get used to it very quickly. Occasionally a so-called shield spawns. Think of this as a crate with a bonus weapon inside. However, there is usually some simple puzzle you have to complete in order to get into the shield. Puzzles are relatively easy, but in lighter stages of the game, when things get a bit overwhelming, thinking of a solution while dodging enemies can be a bit tricky. The game also features a leveling and upgrade system, which allows you to increase the speed, power or survivability of your little rocket. And finally, if you run out of ouch, head to the nearest tower represented by a green arrow on the radar. Honestly, I completed just a few campaign missions and dove straight into what I think is the core of the game, the endless endurance mode, in which you try to survive for as long as possible. I used to play Geometry Wars a lot and found the first 30 or 40 ways pretty easy, but then things got a bit heated up and sometimes I really broke sweat trying to stay alive. Upgrades are extremely useful in this game mode, as they will help you prolong your sustainability. The graphics are minimalistic but nice and smooth, and watching the rampage unfold as you mow down hordes of enemies is very aesthetically pleasing. My only objection to graphics is that I'd prefer less colors on single enemies or just a combination of various shades of specific colors, because the game can get quite chaotic very quickly. The soundtrack is just amazing. Just here for yourself by clicking the link in the description. A mix of old schoolish electronic dance music is very well suited for this game. The middle part of the track, Forth from the War Emerging, keeps playing in my head over and over again. Eventually, after about 52 minutes of endurance mode, I got hungry and suicided at the start of wave 79. I got a 5 million score, which put me at second place in the leaderboards at the time. The leaderboards show high scores for all campaign missions as well as various game modes. Speaking of game modes, the game also features a daily mode, which I suppose resets the score every day. I like the idea as it promotes the competitiveness and makes the competition fair for all people, despite how long they've played. Overall, as a former avid player of Geometry Wars, I like this game a lot, as it's ideal if you need to relax a bit after a rough day or if you have those small 7 minute time windows throughout the day. The game is available on Steam for 10 euros, which in my opinion is a reasonable price tag, considering how long you will play the game if you like this genre. Also, the endurance mode provides virtually limitless fun. Anyway, I would like to thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask in the comments.